my channel where I share my latest pickups, unboxings and reviews. What's up guys, it's a girl of commerce coming at you with another awesome unboxing and today guys, this is one of the classiest unboxings for Pokemon TCG that I've ever done on this channel but right here guys, we've got the Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection from Zacian and Zamazenta and it looks so so awesome, I do not want to leave this box up guys I'm so afraid to be damaging the promo cards that are in this but yeah, as you guys can see, it's a really really awesome looking um, Oh, I'm so scared of this box right here. It's a really really awesome looking packaging right here guys and I do kind of want to run you guys through the box real quick but I do not want to damage the promos inside because they are really really delicate but right there guys you can see the gold and black um, sword and shield font right there as you guys can see so yeah and we've got like a matte shiny looking glossy looking um, branding right there of Pokemon TCG as well as more sword and shield branding right here as you guys can see but yeah let me just sit this box down real quick I'm, I'm so afraid to be damaging the promo cards inside but yeah if you guys can just feel this box right here it's got a matte like really really just high quality touch to it so yeah without further ado let's just unbox this bad boy right here alright guys so without further ado let's just unbox this awesome looking box real quick look at that golden pokeball right there as well as the gold font of sword and shield this is really a really classy classy Ultra Premium Collection, like that name really fits it. And look at all this gold, guys. Look at all this gold on the insides of the box right there. We've got Zacian as well as Zamazenta, and I do not even... Look at it, it's so shiny that you can't even see it. You can't even see the Pokemon right there. Anyways, let me just move the box a little closer so you guys can see the drawers right here. So, we do get one top drawer right here, as well as um, three mini drawers right here. And I already take a little pic right there of the promo cards. The promo cards, like a lot of people have been complaining about the promo cards being kind of damaged by the box. But uh, I'm really hoping mine is going to be fine. Uh, anyways, we have got the top drawer right here, which looks to be the less important stuff. So we're going to be opening that one up real quick first. We've got the card game rules, which comes with every Elite Trainer box. So this is kind of like essentially an Elite Trainer box. So we do get a code card right here. Let me just give you guys the code card. And the drawers, guys, the drawers are feeling really, really premium as well. Like the material that they have used for the drawers. So I think this is a really, really awesome looking promo card, uh, uh, code card that you guys can claim. Uh, it's gonna unlock everything that's in this box right here. So we do get a series players guide right here. Look at that. Look at that dope printing on this book right here, guys. Wow. So let's just flip this through. I think it's wow. Look at that gold font and that gold trace outside, guys. Like okay, so right here we do get um a run through of all of the sword and shield series um promos. Uh, that they've ever released. Wow, I did not even know this existed. The Galarian Perserker um, Sword and Shield uh, promo right there. That looks really, really dope. Uh, it's a pre-release um, promo as well. So yeah, this, this card is really going up in value as well. So it's really, really dope that we get to look at all of the promo cards right here. We usually get um, to look at the full set, like whatever is in the full set. But right here, we get all of the promos that's ever been released for the sword and shield set as well as that awesome looking Charizard V that was from um you know it was it was so hard to get that that promo card wow so right here we've got oh look at that look at that guys special delivery Charizard that looks really really dope as well as two gold cards that comes in this collection right here and we've got some artwork of Zacian and Zamazenta so yeah without further ado guys let's just sit all of this right back there close up this drawer and we're gonna start off with let's do this drawer first because I know those two contains the promo cards so right here guys we've got a bunch of cards right here but we've got the, the black and gold dice right there. I'm not probably going to be opening this up because I'm not going to be using them. But wow, this is like really, really dope for the collection. So let's just sit that right off to the back. And we've got more dice, guys. The gold and black dice. Wow, this is, this is so, so classy, guys. And it's weighted, guys. Like, all of these dice are weighted. Like, that just adds on to the premium touch that they've got going on. And um, right here, we've got the coins. So some, some people have got like coins that are just all over the place and they're just not like in, in these little plastic sleeves right here. Yeah, but these, these are not coins guys. These are the damage markers. So we've got the burn as well as the poison damage markers right here. It's weighted as well guys. So it's looking really dope. Wow, and it's gold on the back. I just realized that it's gold on the back. So wow. Wow, that's, 
it's just classy. Alright, so we do get all the packs right here. We'll check out the packs in a bit. I just wanted to show you guys the the deck dividers right here. So we are sticking with the theme of black and gold. So we've got three deck dividers right here that you can just slot them in this little drawer right here. So you can put cards in these drawers. Probably like all of your favorite cards can go in this drawer right here. So that's it for this drawer. We're gonna slide it right back. And we've got a bunch of packs right here. So in this, I would like to call it the premium Elite Trainer Box. Like you do get 16 packs out of this, four from each Sword and Shield. Um, set so it's really really dope. We've got Darkness Ablaze right here So four packs of Darkness Ablaze as well as four packs of Rebel Clash right here So we're gonna sit all the packs off to the side and we'll unbox them real quick So let's just start off with Zacian. Uh Zacian is like one of my um, uh, Favorite legendary Pokemon So anyways, uh, let me just sit the stuff off to the back real quick. Anyways, uh, Zacian promo card right here. Uh, the black and gold touch. It's looking really, really dope. I'm going to snip this open real quick. But I want to sleeve them in this um, limited edition uh, Zacian sleeves. Just to go along with the theme. So let me just um, snip this open real quick. I do not want to keep them in the wrap. I want to um, take it out. Uh, sleeve them up and just keep it in a binder. Probably not going to grade it either. Let's just look at the centering though for those of you guys who are curious. I don't really think there's anything wrong with the centering here. The corners do not look too damaged, I would say, except for a little bit of whitening right here. But other than that, it looks it, it looks dope. Yeah, you can kind of see a little bit of whitening right there. But it's not that bad. Let me just um sneak open the sleeves. Wow guys. Wow. Look at that sleeve, guys. Like, usually you get sleeves with like a silver backing right here, but these are gold, guys. They are really going along with the black and gold theme really, really well. Wow, that, that surprised me. Ah, yes, and they are back to using the glossy touch. I, I like the glossy ones better than the ones that came from the Elite Trainer box from um, Shining Fates, because those were matte and... and it, wow, guys! Look at that! Like, the gold backing on this um, sleeve. Wow, it goes so well. Look at that! Wow, I'm uh, wow, I'm so impressed. All right, we're gonna be saving the rest of these sleeves. I do not know when I'll ever be using this, but yeah, it's, de it's definitely dope. I'm gonna be keeping that for the future. Anyways, we've got the Zashin promo card. I'll just sit that right off to the side and let's just check out whatever else we get in this on um, the drawer right here. We do get this Zashin coin. It's weighted just like everything else in this collection, and I'm surprised that it actually came in, in the packaging as intended. So we've got these are the tail. This is the tail side. Got a Pokemon trading card um, game, like little branding right there. It's looking really, really dope. Anyways, let's just dig through this drawer and see what else we do get. Oh, we do get more um, dividers, so definitely, definitely good to save some of these. You know, you never know when you need them. I'll probably be saving them for this drawer right here. So we do get four packs of Sword and Shield right here. A uh, one of each pack I will as well. I do not know if that was intended. Let's just see. No, it was not intended. Like, that was just coincidental. Okay. Anyways, we've got that right there. Let's just close up this drawer. I don't think we get anything else from this drawer. No, we do not get anything else in that drawer. Let's move on to Zashian, uh, Zamazenta right there. So, we've got the promo card right there. Zamazenta V. And I'm going to be sleeving them in this exclusive sleeve. Ooh, that's the coin right there. Right, just give you guys a quick look at the coin since it came out of nowhere. It's the back of the coin. It looks the same as the Zashian coin. But yes, this is Zamazenta and that's really, really dope. Um, I'm definitely not going to be taking those out of the packaging. Let me just take out one of these sleeves because I'm going to be sleeving up this promo card right quick with this exclusive dope looking sleeves. I'm so in love with these sleeves, guys. Like, I think this is one of the like best sleeves they've ever given out. With that gold backing to go along with this... Um, promo cards. It's so dope, guys. I would definitely recommend sleeving all of your um, gold secret rares in these sleeves, guys. And look at this Zamazenta. Let me just give you guys a quick close-up look at this awesome looking card right here. And check out the centering, just in case you guys are wondering. We do get still a little bit of whitening right there on the corners, but yeah, the centering is a little off on this. Like, as you guys can see, the bottom is kind of a little heavy. But yeah, all in all, still definitely Definitely dope looking. I'm gonna sleeve them up real quick before I do any damage to it. I'm not gonna be grading them, so yeah, it, it does not really matter to me about the centering, but yeah, it, wow. 
this. It looks so dope, guys. Look at it. Wow. Okay, we're gonna sit this off to the side. I'm, I'm definitely taking way too much time with the promos, but yeah. Uh, this is the deck dividers. We've got a lot of deck dividers that come in this um box right here. But yeah, we do get four packs of Vivid Voltage. <laughs> one of each pack artwork once again. I'm I'm really really excited to open Vivid Voltage. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna see that off to the bottom. And these are all the packs that we've got from this collection right here. So let me just close off the box real quick. I'll set the box off to the back and I'll open up the packs for you guys. All right, guys. So these are all of the packs as you guys can see right here. So four from each set right here. Four packs of Sword and Shield, four packs of Darkness Ablaze, four packs of Rebel Clash, as well as four packs of Vivi Voltage, all in order of the set release date. So we're just gonna start off with Sword and Shield right quick. And I cannot wait to see what we can pull from 16 packs, guys. 16 packs, all from the Sword and Shield era of cards. So this is definitely, definitely really dope way to celebrate the Sword and Shield release so far. And we've already got like two of those um, awesome looking promos. And we're starting off really good with a white coat card. So let's just see what we can do with this today. So we've got an energy card right there. Tweki, Lucky Egg. Oh, guys, cards are flying, guys. A uh, dark wool right there. <laughs> the cards are flying everywhere. Clobopus, Goldin, Rosalir, Ghastly, Ponya. A reverse hollow of Drempa as well as a Botan Hollow Rare. Wow, that is dope looking. Let me sleeve this up real quick. This is definitely our first pull of today as it is a hollow rare. So that's really dope. And we're on to our second pack for Swan Shield with um the Gigantamax um Lapras right there on the pack artwork. And let's just see what we can pull from this. Oh, it's a green coat card, guys. But it's okay, we started off with a white coat card, so still all good. Got an energy card right there. Quick Ball, Mantin, Dotler, Valpix, Nikit, Bell Toy, Chinchow, Krabby, a reverse hollow of a Pokemon Center Lady, and our rare is Stone Journal. So no pulls from the second pack, but we're on to our third pack of Sword and Shield with Zamazenta on the pack artwork. So we did get one of each pack artwork for um, Sword and Shield. That's really odd. I do not know if they did mean to pack it that way. But yeah, another green coat card. But I actually kind of do want to save all my white coat cards for Vivi Voltage. Uh, or one of those sets with those better um, rare cards, you know. So we've got a bunch of trainer cards right here. Seeking, Amona, Rosalier, Chuto, Blip Butt, Raihon, a reverse. Hollow of a silly cobra and our rare is clay doll, but that artwork looks kind of dope. Alright, so we're down to our last pack for sword and shield. I do not know like really what I want to pull from sword and shield, but yeah, like any just any good pulls will be good from this collection because we've got 16 packs, so we definitely want to pull something good. And as you guys already know, like this is a really really expensive um box to be purchasing, but we did get a white coat cut from this. Yeah, it's a really expensive box. Like, it costs over 100 bucks. So, you definitely want to pull, like, dope stuff from it, you know. Like, considering the amount of money you've spent just to get the box right there. But most of the people will definitely be copying this just for the promo cards. Because that's the only way that you can be getting the promo cards. Unless you're going to be buy buying them, like, just on its own. But yeah, Reverse Hollow of Roserade. And our rare is Toxic Croak right there. So, no pulls from Swan Shield. Except for two um, hollow rares. So yeah, you can call it a pool, I guess. So two pools from this box already. So let's move on. Um, next, we've got Darkness Ablaze. So four packs of Darkness Ablaze. Um, well, you, you can get good pools from Darkness Ablaze, I guess. Like there's that uh, Gigantamax Charizard and all that cool jazzy stuff, you know. So green coat cut for this pack right there. We've got an energy cut right there. Uh, Glimwood Tangle, Lyron, Parasect, Bunnelby, ooh, one of those mad party cards. A Paris, uh, Lavita, Golet, Phoebus, boy, he's looking so lonely right there. A reverse hollow of Struggle Gloves, and our rare is Volcarona. That's a really dope rare card, though. Alright, so let me just um shift the cards a little. It's getting a little packed up, you know, guys. We need, we need a bunch of space for 16 packs. So we've got the Gigantamax Charizard pack artwork going on right here 
on our second pack for Darkness of Lease and it turns out to be a green coat card uh, but we still got two packs of Darkness of Lease so it would be dope to at least get one uh, white coat card for each set I would say uh, if that was possible Wishy Washy, Kilfern, Dino, this is a really dope looking card I would say Pansier, Mareep a reverse holo of that lonely Phoebus and our rare is King Clan guys so no pulls from two packs of Darkness Ablaze but we've still got two more packs right there and right here we've got Eternators on the pack artwork for our third pack of Darkness Ablaze so let's see what we can do with this it's another green coat card uh, but it's all good I, I would really hope that um, the white coat cards would go for VV Voltage uh, cause yeah, that's where like most of the cool cards are, you know, Naked, we've got three Nikkids just running along right there Bounce with Snabu, this is really really dope Oh Snabu, that's cute, alright, Meltan We've got Granbu Reverse Hollow as well as a Rare Flygon And we're down to our last pack of Darkness Ablaze So, what do you guys think guys? Do you guys want the white coat card to appear right here? Or do you guys want to save it for Rebel Clash and um Oh, we got a white coat card. White coat card on our last pack of Darkness of Bliss. So let's just see what we can do with this pack right here. Get the energy card, Ferret, Parasect, Spike Moth, Vanillite, Trapinch. Ooh, that's cute. That, that's a, like a woolly wool Trapinch right there. Teddy Yosa, a Pansia, Morlau, Reverse Hollow of a Morlau, followed by, wow, a Hollow Rare Hoopa. Wow, this box has been giving us a bunch of hollow rares anyways let's just leave them up real quick uh, so third pool for today but they were all hollow rares so we're moving on to rebel clash really really quick i think rebel clash was the only set that did not give us one of each pack up but i do not know if that was a mistake uh on on the packaging but yeah all right white coat card let's go man let's go white coat card on this rebel clash right here so I do not know what have you guys been pulling from this box right here So just let me know what the pull rates are on your box Because this box has been kind of blessing us with pulls but they were all hollow rares So I'll definitely be hoping for some good pulls in the upcoming packs uh, Reverse hollow of a Lombra, he's just celebrating right there And our rare, wow! It's an Ice Cube V guys, this is definitely dope looking Ice Cube is definitely one of my favourite um, Gen 8 new Pokemon that they've added to the franchise so definitely definitely really happy to pull this card right here i do not have that definitely glad to add that to the collection and we're moving on to our second pack of a rebel clash with toxicity right there on the pack artwork so lombard was celebrating because we pulled the ice qv i guess i guess that's what it was so we're back to another green coat card uh we're definitely hoping to pick up the pace because we're nearing the end of um the box but yes, yeah, Scoop Up Net, a Heracross, Electrode, Eplin, Galarian Darumaka, Bunnelby, Valpix, Phantom. Wow! Reverse Hollow, Galarian Persica. Wow, Persica is one of my favorite, favorite cards, man. Like my favorite, favorite um, Pokemon. Wow. I'm sorry, but this guy is going in a sleeve. I, I know he's just a reverse hollow, but yeah, I love him so much. I would really love to pull like the secret rare. The secret rare glaring me out, man. Like, wow. That's just one of my cards that I'm really after right now. Um, I don't really remember what set he was from, but yeah. That card, man. That card is one of the cards that I really want to pull. So we're back to a white coat card. Uh, let's just see what we'll get from here. Alright, so I've got an energy card right there. Sonia, Mascarine, Hatram, Sandy Gast, Roly Coley, Stunky, Clefairy. Voltorb Well that, that card, well that artwork is dope Arcanine is our reverse hollow and our rare is a colossal hollow rare So let's sleeve them up real quick It's going in a nice sleeve Alright, we'll sit that off to the post section and let me just move the deck up to the top And we're, we're off to our last pack for Rebel Clash and then we're gonna move on to Vivid Voltage guys So we haven't really been pulling a lot of fire so I'm hoping that um, most of the good pulls will be coming from VV Voltage. Uh, yeah, that, that, that set is definitely really dope. So we've got a green coat card right here. So four to the front. 
I've got an Angie card right there. Shuckle, Luxio, Durant, Growlithe, Roly Coly, Meditite, Grubbin, uh, Netu, uh, Reverse Hollow, Honage, and the rare is Sesmetol. Sesmetol. Alright, so four packs of Vivid Voltage left, guys. What can we do with this right here? I'm gonna be leaving that off to the last. Like, this is how we're gonna shuffle it, guys. Alright, so we're gonna do it in this order right here. Let's just open this pack first and see what we can do with this, guys. I'm really hoping for some good pulls from Vivid Voltage, man. Like, this box costs a ton of money, so, you know, we definitely want... Good pulls, guys, good pulls. Green Coat Cut, but it's all good. Uh, from Vivid Voltage, even though you get a Green Coat Cut, you still do get a chance and an amazing rare, guys. So that's the good thing about, um, you know, this Vivid Voltage set. Blitzel. Nursery, Skido, our reverse hollow of a Skido, and the rare is a Whimsicott. Alright, so no pulls on our first pack of Vivid Voltage. But we've still got uh, three packs to go, guys. Three packs of Vivid Voltage. Let's make some magic happen, guys. Come on, I know we got this. At least one pull, one more pull from this set right here, man. All I need is at least one pull from Vivid Voltage. Alright, guys. Delmice, Milsuri, Whooper, he's taking a nice buff right there, that's so cute. Ninkada, Wisma. Amazing rare, guys! It's an amazing rare, but I already have this amazing rare, but it's all good. We'll just add him to the collection. I guess we'll be trading this um, amazing rare, Jirachi. I already got this amazing rare, why? Why did they have to give me another amazing rare, Jirachi? Alright, so that's going in the trade pile, I guess. If you guys need a Jirachi, hit me up. We'll be trading that off or selling that off. Because I already have one of those. But we still got a bunch of amazing rares that we're after for Vivid Voltage. So, I don't know. Can we get another amazing rare? Or probably just another good pool? Come on. That doesn't count. I already have that card. Alright, Energy. Search as the buff. Hit on top. Swoobat. Eevee. I really like this Eevee card. Trubbish. Shupert, Chuto, Riolu, a uh, reverse hollow of Opal. Wow, and our rare is Flareon. Alright, I do not have that Flareon. And our last pack, guys. Our last pack of Vivid Voltage. Ah, can we come on? Just get at least one pull from this Gigantamax Pikachu pack right here. I'll be happy with just one last pull. Come on. Oh, so we've got all green coat cards for our Vivid Voltage set. Do you think they're gonna bless us with another amazing rare? Oh, come on. Can they be kind enough to bless us with another amazing rare? Wilma, Cottony, Clobopus, Electrite, Execute, oh, a Reverse Holo of Clefable, and we're ending off with Lucario. So no pulls from Vivid Voltage, but we did get a bunch of other awesome pulls from today's unboxing though. Amazing rare Jirachi. Hit me up if you guys need this card. Selling or trading it. Colossal. Ice QV. I'm really happy with this pool though. I'm not gonna lie. Ice QV. A uh, Hoopa Hollow Rare right there. It's a really nice looking artwork of Hoopa. Toxic Croak Hollow Rare. Botan Hollow Rare. As well as two awesome promo cards right there. Which do you guys prefer more? Let me know in the comments down below. One last close up look of Zamazenta V promo. As well as Zashen V. The Gold Dogs of the Day. And that's all for today's unboxing. I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed today's unboxing. Check back really soon for more unboxings. And subscribe, like, comment. Check out my social media links down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Lokola signing out. Peace.